Are you looking for a real nice 340 Express Cruiser? Then come with me for a quick tour on this 2006 Cruisers Yachts Express Cruiser. She's a 2006, well powered, with 6.2 Merc Cruiser engines, V drive, and she also has a generator for the air conditioning. Now she's loaded with features from the bow to the stern. We've got a covered windlass over here with foot pedals, an LLI, ladies like it feature, oversized four deck sun pad. We've got a full enclosure. Electronics include radar and GPS. She's got solar panels for power away from the dock. She also has those underwater blue lights to give a nice view at night. She's very well appointed. Just had bottom paint at the Long Beach shipyard about a week ago, August 8th. Props have been tuned, engines aligned, ready to go for the next stone. So let's check her out. So come with me. Here we are starting off forward port. We see here at the bow, we've got a nice aluminum anchor right there. Spotlight, covered windlass with foot pedals. Now as we come down along the starboard side here, we see some other features. If you notice, there's lots of hatches to allow light and air into the cabin. This is what I call an LLI, ladies like it feature oversized lounge pad to spend the afternoon out on. Coming down along the side and looking up, we see we have our GPS antenna, our Ray Marine radar array, wireless capability antenna, and VHF radio. Now, there's a full enclosure for this vessel, but being summer, we have it off. Notice the nice curved windshield gives it a sporty look and here's a rather unique feature we have the side vent windows that actually open to allow even more airflow into the cockpit we've got dual trumpet horns right here here's our 340 express badge and then coming down the side this gives us an overview of the cockpit and the transom here at the transom, we've got loads of features. We've got a boarding ladder, which is covered, stereo control, shower, trunk storage. Notice it's we have the molded in forms for the lines right there. And right here, we have fender holders and speakers. We enter the vessel on the port side we notice right in front of us we have engine hatch buttons and a 110 outlet our wet bar gives us a nice countertop another 110 volt outlet right there and then a nice new refrigerator right here this is a hookup you can put a tv out here as we circle around we see we have a nice U-shaped lounger with storage underneath and if you notice our speakers we've got an upgraded stereo system right there noticing the deck we have the C deck on it which is easy on the feet quiets the boat and just gives it a more modern look up two steps we have another LLI, ladies like it feature, forward or aft facing chaise seating right there. Access to the foredeck is nice and easy, up two steps through the window out to that lounge pad right there. Here at the helm, we have a double wide companion seat for you and a friend. Both seats have that thigh rise bolster. We're operating the vessel here at the helm. We've got our Raymarine E80 VHF radio, rocker switches below, and then our shift and throttle, stereo control, tilt steering wheel, 
throttles right there and all of our gauges are right in front of us right within the line of sight this is a view from the helm if you notice we've got good lines we can see the sides of our boat very easily circling around there we go we have a nice overview of the vessel we enter the cabin through this sliding door and down a few steps Cruisers does a very nice job. We have solid wood cabinetry, ultra leather upholstery. And here's something you don't see at these galleys much. This is a full splash, backsplash, goes right up to the cabinets. Down below, we have our refrigerator, lots of storage, glass top stove and microwave, just a nice little galley. To pr prepare snacks keep an eye on the kids out back and be part of the entertainment here now as we move forward this is a very nice upgrade and you don't see this on vessels this size you've got an oversized facility vacuum flush head notice we have a light up above but even more importantly we have a separate shower with a seat sit down relax take it easy and you haven't gotten the whole head and vanity wet now as we move forward we have almost six and a half feet of headroom throughout the vessel we've got a nice hanging locker our double bed right there we have storage up underneath steps there to make it easier to get in and out. And if you notice, we've got lots of storage all the way around for, for whatever we need. And of course, there's a privacy curtain right here. Coming down along the side, we see we have our flat screen TV, more gunnel storage right there. Probably have well, close to seven feet of headroom right in here. And then pulling back, we have our U-shaped dinette, which actually will also convert to a sleeping area. More gunnel storage above. Our power panel here. We have our tank watch system. The boat has generator and air conditioning for comfort even away from the dock. Here we have our thermostat for the air conditioning. Now our mid cabin back here is a great feature. We have a privacy curtain, its own hanging locker, and lots of headroom. We've got our lounge pads right there to fill all this in. This 340 Cruisers, well powered, generator air conditioning rich looking viewer today owner tomorrow at south mountain yachts